one assignment today. Let's take a W back to Minnesota. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. give a how we yeah, do it. We a one score game, two score game. Y'all know how we get down. Y'all yeah, know how we get down. All, right. all out. All we got today, y'all don't leave none on the field, y'all. Yeah, one, two, three. Let's go. Let's yeah, well, I always get hyped to play the Bears. It's an intense matchup. You know, I like playing in high intensity games. I like playing against good players. You know, that hype is my game and, and rise is my game. So it's a rivalry that I came to know and got familiar with since I got here. So, you know, it's been fun playing in it and, and I look forward to it. It's come Monday night. TV, all Minnesota is talking about is this four game season that starts here tonight. Two of the four games are against these Bears. I guess this time I'm gonna get welcome to the, the NFC North. You know, every year it's always, you know, a uh, battle. Always comes down to the last couple games. Always a fight. Usually, always division opponents. So it, everything is just hiding. Everything means more. Let that dog go. Let that dog go. Come on, baby. It's always been chippy the last couple games we've played them. There's been some words exchanged after plays. There's been some penalties going on the road in a night game against a division opponent. Bring an extra chin strap for that game because you know it's going to be tough. No score, but the Vikings are moving now. There's the snap under center. It's a pitch out to Cook. Swerving his way to the Chicago 27-yard line. And he just looks like he's operating at a different speed. Right back to Dalvin, and Dalvin runs to the right side. Gallops to the first down to the 20. The defensive interior of the Bears have to make sure they shut down this run, because if it gets going like it's been going on this drive, it'll be a long night. Cousins in the gun for Minnesota, arching a spiral pass back to the end zone. Caught! Touchdown in the corner! Over the shoulder catch in the corner by Jefferson. What a throw and what a catch. 12-yard Viking touchdown pass to take an early lead at Soldier Field on Monday Night Football. Too easy. Too easy. Let's keep it. Let's keep it. This is a Vikings defense. When they have their A game, they can take over the line of scrimmage. When they get penetration, you're going nowhere. This, this group just has to play smart, play strong, and get that penetration. Fields going out of the pistol, and he's going to play action to David Montgomery on the run pass. Fields dropped it, and the Minnesota Vikings have recovered it. It's a fumble recovery by Anthony Barr. Chicago threatening in the red zone. Fields under center. The snap, the spin, they rush four. Hand off Montgomery, runs laterally to the far side. Oh, they got him. They bring him down, and he loses, I think, some yards on the play with a flag. The loss of two. Sheldon Richardson makes the stop, and he's running away from people with the football. The defender was stripping the ball out of the runner's hands before any knee was down. So Sheldon Richardson makes the tackle, knocks it free, and has the clear recovery on the fumble. For a second, I ain't gonna hold about 20 yards, no longer though. Now two consecutive fumbles by the Chicago Bears. Just trying to give this game to the Minnesota Vikings. Got Justin Jefferson lined up in the backfield on this third down. See if they try to get him free. Third and two. Cousins throwing and it's caught wide open. Touchdown. Yeah. Amir Smith Marset for the score. His first touchdown reception on his second career catch. He saves the football as the rookie out of Iowa walks on that Viking sideline across the way. You owe me a towel. You owe me a towel. I see the safety leave. In the corner, he tried to jam me. I got up on that. I said, there's nobody with me, Tiger. And then Justin came out the backfield, three guys anticipated that route and completely forgot about me. So once I broke, you know, to the, the corner of the end zone, I was literally by myself and uh, Kirk found me, uh, threw me a great ball. All I had to do is, you know, finish it. I'm not Kirk, man. I got my first touchdown. Monday Night Football. All right. No, it was just a, a, a great feeling like. I can't believe I'm doing this on Monday Night Football. Don't be a newbie. Act like you know. Uh, act where was like he? Where was he? Hey, come here. Like the come here. Hey, bro, he hasn't been talking right. since he got on the field. <laughs> Low five. Coming down. Late. Growing up watching those Monday Night games, Sunday Night games. So just being able to go out there and then it's my turn. It's just, it's surreal. 
right here they go in the gun fields shotgun snap they rush five back pedals pump fakes hit and eats the ball fumbled the ball the vikings got him and it looked like fields may have inhaled the ball i assumed he got the ball over the hands of dj wanham but he didn't holy cow fields set all sorts of trouble and he's going to be dropped wanham all over him wanham got him two sacks for dj wanham his first multiple sack game of his career keep working man he's gonna keep giving you boots up keep working man. I mean, the defense came up huge. They're the reason we won that game. Um, I made sure to thank as many of those defensive guys in the locker room as I could after the game, just saying, hey, this one, you know, this one was you guys. So we'll try to get you some more points next week. They're one of one on fourth down. Fields, he boots out to the right, and he's pear-shaped. He has no idea what's happening, and the rookie is thrown down. Looking for some kind of refuge and could find none. No place to run and no place to hide. DJ Wadhams had a terrific night for the Vikings. Yeah, Chicago's had the football. They just get bogged down in that red zone. Turnovers, penalties. Every game's different, and you gotta kind of play it as it goes. Like Arizona, when you put up 450 yards of offense, and it still counts as a loss. But then you go to a game like this, and you don't feel as good, but you win. You know. Vikings are gonna go to seven and seven, three and five on the road, and they are putting themselves in a nice position to make a run with three games to go. This is a bottom line business, and the bottom line is about winning or losing. So. Um, we won, take it, and move on. From now until Sunday at noon, um, it's all about the Rams. Let's go, baby. Let's work. Let's get it now. Come on, boy. Yes, sir. Oh, day. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, my boy. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. And a lot at stake for these two potential playoff teams. It's the Los Angeles Rams and the Minnesota Vikings from the U.S. Bank Stadium. Let's go, guys. Let's go, guys. Let's go, guys. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. Everything you do. You know, the running back group trusted me and we trusted each other to get the job done uh, with or without uh, Dalvin in the in the room. And we went out there and we tried to get it done for him and, and execute. Hey, listen, we need to bring the food from one first play to the last play all day, all right? Let's go play around. One, two, three. One, two, three. And boom! The Vikings head out wearing their purple jerseys. Empty set again. Quick throw for Jefferson. Comes back to the ball in front of Ramsey. Gain of eight for JJ, who now is 13 yards from having the most receiving yards through the first two seasons of anybody in the history of the NFL. He's trying to run down a guy on the other sideline named Odell Beckham Jr. Jefferson, wide right. Jalen Ramsey, opposite him. Cousins on third down, fires over the middle, caught by Jefferson on Jalen Ramsey, first down. And now Justin Jefferson passes Odell Beckham Jr. He has the most receiving yards of any player in the history of the NFL during their first two seasons. He's JJ. Come on now, let's go, wake up. Come on. Come on, man, let's ride, let's ride, let's ride, y'all boys, let's go. Come up with a big stop here and get the ball back in the hands of our offense. Stafford, he's hit by Armand Watts, gets away from it, and he throws it right to the Minnesota Vikings. Vikings for the takeaway, it's Anthony Barr. <laughs> and we needed that Peter like we needed to breathe. I have no idea what man. You know, that swing of momentum is something that we needed, and you know, he came through. Defense was really playing a tough game. And, you know, to have those turnovers really brought some energy and some momentum. Second and five from their own 30. Stafford goes play action from under center. He rolls out to the right. It's a deep shot center of the field. Intercepted by Xavier Woods. And down 13-3, U.S. Bank Stadium ignites because the Vikings have picked off Matthew Stafford two times. Right, I'm trying to... 
Second and 10 from their own 12. Stafford, shotgun, Cooper Cup to his right, Tony Michelle to his left in the backfield. Vikings rush four. Ball's tipped and picked off by Anthony Barr at the 10 to the 5. And he stopped at the two yard line. Oh, what? Take this pick and get some points. Right now, Anthony Barr is carrying this day for the Minnesota Vikings. And now it's first and goal. A must score scenario for the Vikings. Come on, man. First and goal from the two yard line, trailing by 10, third quarter. I formation, handoff Madison. Heads to the left side. Goes to Brady. Gets to the end zone. Yes, he does. Touchdown, Vikings. You know, we want to make sure that we score off of those turnovers, and so. It was good, you know, they, our offensive line had a great block up front. Ole pulled around and, and CJ led the way. Um, and it was just, you know, getting in there and, and not being denied at that point. And we put some points on the board and that was big for us at that time. Snap to Barry, Brandon Powell back in to return punts. Runs up on it and makes a Viking miss at the 40. Now he's to the 50 far side. He's to the 40. Brandon Powell is gone. 61 yards, punt return, touchdown for the LA Rams. And it's Brandon Powell with the first punt return touchdown of his career. And like that, the positivity has been taken out of the building for Vikings fans. It's 19-10, LA Rams. Stafford takes the snap, goes back on a deep drop, passes to the end zone, man wide open, caught touchdown. Once again, momentum evaporating for the Minnesota Vikings. 27-13 Rams, Cousins passes to the end zone, caught, touchdown, K.J. Osborne. Oh, let's go. Snap, Gaze kick is good. The L.A. Rams to a 10-point lead. Kick the field goal, get the three points, see if you can get the onside kick, give yourself at least a couple of shots on a Hail Mary to the end zone. Kick is good. So it's 30 23 with 32 seconds to go in the game. Joseph walks up to it and he's going to bounce it to the right side with an onside kick. And it's secured by Los Angeles. And the LA Rams have beaten the Minnesota Vikings 30 23. The Minnesota Vikings fall to 7 and 8.